Once upon a time in Tyrone, there were two little children, the son and daughters of parents who had died when they were little. They missed their parents very much, but they were raised by a guardian who was a fanatical atheist and was determined to convert the children to his beliefs. But they would have none of it, and so they made a childhood pact. The first of them to die would return to prove to the other that life existed after death. While the two grew up to become the Lord of Tyrone and Lady Beardsford, well-known and respected nobility, but one day Lady Beardsford awoke to find her sibling standing beside her bed. He told her that he had just died and reminded her of the promises that they had made to one another as children. Then the spirit spoke of the future and told her that her husband would die and she would find love again and have four children all well and good. But then it continued and told her that she herself would die at the age of 47. Of course she was very frightened and suspected she might still be dreaming, so she asked her brother to prove the truth of his words. He reached out one spectral hand and touched her wrist, which turned black and withered, and so it was the next morning. For ever after, she wore a black ribbon to cover the mark. And all that had been predicted came to pass. Her husband died, she did marry again, and she had four children. But when her 47th birthday came around, and she didn't die, she heaved a sigh of relief that this piece of wisdom from beyond the grave at least had proven false. For her 48th birthday, she threw a small party as befitted a lady of the time, and had some friends around, among them a priest who had known the family for many years. Upon seeing the hangings and hearing people speak of her age, he called her aside with a smile. Do you know, my dear, your age? he asked. Why, of course, she replied. I am forty-eight. Ah, he said, tapping the side of his nose. But you are not. I checked the registry only this morning, and your records were mixed up. You are actually forty-seven. Thinking this loss of an extra year would please her, she nearly fainted away and told him that he had signed her death warrant. And with that, she went to her rooms made out a will, and died that very night.